Okay, now I'm at the machine. I've stitched down one side of the zipper with a piece of fabric on both sides. Now I am using my um, skinny walking foot, the VD attachment. I've got my needle set at 4.8, which gives me pretty close to quarter inch. So I probably, I've given this a press, I'll probably come back and top stitch down here and then I may even just do a quarter inch seam on this side of the raw edges just to hold those two together because that will help when we attach it to the lid and the base. Okay, so up here I've pinned my other two bindings for the zipper and I'm keeping the edge of the foot to the edge of the fabric. And if you can see that orange line, that's actually a quarter inch line and it's stitched pretty close. So I'm not going to pin it all the way down, I'm just going to lay one on top of the other. So till I get to my fingers and then realign and go again. Now when you get to the zipper pulley parts, um, if you make sure they're in the middle when you start, when you get close to them, you can pull them up or down out of your way. Not there yet. just coming up shortly okay so here they are here and being two you can see what happens is they make this want to dip a little bit in here so I'm just going to sew another little bit and then needle down, lift the foot and pull these past where I've just stitched. Okay, so now I'm happy, happy, put my foot down, line this back up and keep going. Okay, now I've joined both sides of my zipper and pressed this flat. Now the side with the pulleys is the right side. That's the side that's going to be facing out on the bag. So on this top layer now, before I top stitch and do any other stitching, I want to iron this interfacing onto this side. Now the easiest way to do this is to just press that seam up a little and you want your stiffening to sit right up against the stitch line. That way you have a good quarter inch seam allowance here so when we join this we're not going to be sewing through this stiffener and this is where you wish you had another pair of hands okay so just a little bit at a time make sure it's pushed right up under the seam allowance and then 
iron it down you're going to do that all the way along now if your stiffening is not long enough um, mine's not so I'm just going to do about a quarter inch overlap when when I run out so right up there under that seam allowance all the way down and then you can come back and press from the front and your two edges should match together when you're done okay so once that's done then you're able to turn it over you can top stitch down here you don't have to but you can top stitch along here and you'll be stitching through the interfacing as well and then I'm going to stitch a quarter inch on the edge of both sides of this just to give it a bit of stability and to keep these two layers together so that when I attach it to our tops and bottoms everything's going to stay in place that's the plan so I'll keep ironing and come back when this is all done and we'll attach it to either our base or our lid so you will find it's easier if you push that seam up with the iron and then you're able to get this right up in there under that seam allowance and give it a good press so that's it I'll persevere with this and I'll see you shortly okay so here's our zipper piece it's quite tall once you get it all together so I've stitched a quarter inch on the raw edges each side which is right on my stiffener in there and then I've come down and stitched the same here so I used my skinny walking foot on the edge of the fabric so it would have been on the edge here set at 4.8 which gets me almost quarter inch and then the same here so quarter inch down this side so this now pretty much will stand up on its own so it's going to give the bag that structure and height that we want so that's it for now when I come back we're going to assemble the bag pieces together and put it all together and then we move on to something else so I'll talk to you soon bye for now